How can we create sequences in Excel using only numbers or a sequence of numbers with the same letter or a sequence of letters, the alphabet, for example, and so on and so on? And how can we create a sequence of the months of the year and also a sequence of the days of the week? So this is what we're going to see here in this practical example. Let's start here with the first one where we can create a sequence of numbers. I mean, one, two, three, four, and so on, so on. Or actually, you can start from zero or start from a negative number. It doesn't matter. You can create a sequence in Excel. So let's say here, let me read it off these numbers right here. Okay. Now I want to create here a sequence that is going to start um, with the number one and then two and then three, four, and so on, so on. So I want to create here basically a simple sequence of numbers. The first thing that I can do here is just using one and then two in the row underneath. Then I can select here both. In this down right corner of the cell, I can click, hold, and drag down. That way I can create a sequence of numbers. It starts from um, 1 up to 15, for example. And the only thing that I need to do here is to give to Excel just a tip. To Excel understands what I need to do here, just a hint. So for example, 1 and 2, and then I select both to Excel understand the sequence, click, hold, and drag down. That's it. And you can also create another type of sequence. So, for example, you can start, start from zero, or you can start from a negative number, you name it. And instead of just jump one to one, one unit, so two plus one is equal to three, plus one is equal to four, plus one is equal to five, one by one, you can also jump maybe five by five, ten by ten, and so on, so on. So you name it, you can do whatever you want when we are talking about numbers, sequence of numbers. Here we have another example. How can we create a sequence of numbers but append a letter to it, to it? So, for example, right here, let me read it off everything here. I want to create a sequence with A and then hyphen 01, for example. Enter. Now I want to, the sequence to continue for me, A hyphen 02, and so on and so on. So let's do something here. I'm going to just select the, the, only select the first cell, and then here, in the down right corner of the cell, I'm going to click, hold, and drag down. And we're done. So Excel can understand the sequence. You don't need to create more than one row of sequence to Excel get what you need to do. You just need to type it in here the first thing that you want to do, and then click, hold, and drag down that Excel already understands what you need to do, okay? Let me read it off the colors of the cells, okay? I'm just painting here. I'm highlighting with this yellowish color because that way you can download this spreadsheet and see how many... How many cells or rows do you need to fill it in to Excel understands the sequence that you need to create, okay? Here, actually, if I just type it in one, let's see if Excel can understand. So click, hold, and drag down. Yeah, Excel didn't understand what I need to do here. It's just basically copy the first cell, one, 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 and so on. But if I click here in this tag to out of few options, I can see few series. I can click here, and yeah, we're done. So, my, but basically, we need to fill it in here with two rows, huh? Now to create a sequence of uh, alphabet letters, for example, we actually can't do it through a sequence in Excel. Of course, there is an, another way to do it using functions and formulas, but here I'm going to show you an example to basically code the same sequence again, again, and again. Here, for example, let me read it off everything here. I'm going to start with the sequence that is equal to A, B, C, D, E, for example. If I select here this five different letters or these five first alphabet letters that I just typed in here before. Click, hold, and drag down. Let's take a look what Excel is going to do here for me. A, B, C, D, E. And then again, A, B, C, D, E, A, B, C, D, E, and so on and so on. So as you can see here, Excel basically doesn't create a sequence using the alphabet A, B, C, D, A from Z, for example. But it's basically take the five first uh, things that I type in here, and then cope again, down below, cope again underneath, and so on and so on. And if I click here in this tag, as you can see, uh, I doesn't have here the option to fill it in the sequence, for example. The only option that I have here is scope cells. Okay, so it doesn't gonna work here. But we can see that uh, if I can create here any type of sequence, for example, this letter right here, I'm gonna just type in here uh, random things, okay? So, for example, if I type in something like this and then select 
everything here, click, hold, and drag down. Excel is going to continue the sequence for me, but not exactly a sequence, just coping the cells, the previous cells, okay, again and again. So it's going to create some groups, cope, 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 and so on and so on. Now, let me read it off these things that I just did here, okay. Uh, as you can see here, we can't have a sequence of letters in this extender way that, uh, that we actually are doing here in this spreadsheet. But there is another way that we can create a sequence in Excel using letters, for example, A, B, C, D, E, and so on, so on, up to Z, uh, using the alphabet. We can use the char function in Excel, because the char function can take a number and convert it into a letter, for example. And, do you guys know, 65 is going to be equal to A, and 90 is going to be equal to Z. So we can, you can use this range of numbers from 65 up to 90 to create a sequence of the alphabet, A up to, to Z, okay? So here, let me read it off everything here. In the first cell right here, or actually, let me start with this yellowish, yellowish color here in this, in this cell, uh, equal sign, char function. Let me double click here, one, two, to select the function. Now within this function right here, I'm gonna type it in, for example, the number uh, 65. Close parentheses, I'm going to press enter, and the result right here is going to be equal to A, because 65 corresponds, uh, stands for the letter A, okay? This is why I got here a A as result. And if I do it again, equal sign, chart function, op uh, open parentheses, 66, this time, close parentheses, enter, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have here a B as result. But I can't create a sequence using only the chart function. Take a look here. I'm going to select the first cell, click, hold, and drag down. And as you guys can see, all the results are uh, going to be equal to A. And if I click here in this little tag, I, I don't have the option right here to fill it in the sequence. And if I click here in any cell in the middle, let's say here, for example, as you guys can see, the number within the function continues to be 65. I need to create a way and think, uh, I can't use the 65 over and over again. I need to create a sequence. So. The first row is going to be equal to 65. The row underneath is going to be equal to 66, and then 67, 68, and so on, so on. And uh, how can I do it? I can do it using a helper column. This is why I have here the I column, where I'm going to use as a helper. So, for example, here I'm going to have 65, and then the row underneath it, 66, 67, and so on, so on. But I don't, as we just learned before, I don't actually need to fill it in more than one row or whatever. I just need to click here in this down right corner of the cell, click hold and drag down, and then I can click here in the tag, fill series. Okay, that's it. Now, instead of using the chart function and the number manually type it in within 65, for example, instead I, we can do something dynamic here. Instead of typing in the number, I can select the cell where I have the number at. So like this, for example, enter, okay. Now, if I click, hold, and drag down, the function is going to continue to me because it's dynamic. Whenever I click, hold, and drag down, the, the reference of the cell is going to follow along. So that way, we can make the sequence using letters and numbers. Let me do another example right here. Equal sign, char function, double click here, one, two. The number that I'm going to use now is the 65. So I'm going to click here in the cell to the right. And enter. Now I can click here in the down right corner of the cell, click, hold, and drag down, and uh, that's it. We're done. So this is how we can create a sequence using the alphabet letters. Or actually, you can use another numbers. And you can see, if you are out this range right here, 65 up to 90, you can use some symbols. So maybe if you change it here, it's the 65 to maybe, I don't know, I'm going to give you an example right here. Uh, 45, enter. We're going to have here a hyphen, for example, a symbol. Let me stick with 65 here. Okay, let's move on now to the... Another example where we can create here a sequence using letters and numbers. But as you guys can see here, I'm using A two times and then B two times, C two times, and so on and so on. So basically here, I yes, I'm in D using the alphabet sequence, but I'm repeating the same letter two times, one time, or I'm repeating one time. So A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D, and so on and so on. To do it, we're gonna need to use two helper columns because one helper column is going to be to the letter itself, and we're going to use the char function, as we just learned before, to convert the number into the letter itself. And another column that I'm going to use is going to be responsible to the number, because as you guys can see, the number also is going to 
repeat itself. One two, one two, one two, one two, and so on and so on. So here we have a sequence that repeats itself. A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2, and so on and so on. Let me read it off here everything. Actually, I can do it manually. A hyphen or a dash one, for example, enter. A hyphen two, B hyphen one. And I can continue manually the sequence, but it's going to take me a longer time because I have a lot of rows here to fill it in with this information. So instead of doing it, I can use the char function and append the number to it. Let's start with the, the column where we're going to use the numbers because it's easier to do. So one, two, and then again, one, two, one, two. And I need the sequence to repeat itself. And as we just learned before, the only thing that I need to do here is this first two right here. Click, hold, and drag down to make sure we can create a sequence, but I don't actually want to create a sequence here. One, two, three, four. But I want you the sequence to copy and paste the, the two that I just selected before. So we're going to click here in this little tag and then copy cells. That way we have here one, two, one, two, one, two, so on, so on. Let me read it off here, the, the background colors. Now we can move on here and uh, already using the, the char function, for example. Equal sign, char function, double click here, one, two. And uh, as the number, I'm going to use this, this column that I have here to the right, this cell, and then I'm going to press enter. And this cell right here is going to contain the 65. The cell underneath is going to do basically the same thing. Equal sign, char function, double click here, select this cell to the right. And this cell right here is going to be again the letter A. And the cell underneath is going to be the cell uh, B, and then B again. So 66, 66, 67, and so on and so on. So we need to create basically this six, six sequence here using the, the letter, huh? but we need to append the number with the letter. And how can we continue this, this sequence right here? Because take a look here. If I select here, for example, this, this previous values right here, click, hold, and drag down. As you guys can see, the sequence is all messed up. We have here this random decimal places, 0 0.8, 0 0.3. It's making no sense in my opinion. So Excel doesn't get what we're trying to do here. So another thing and another way to do it is taking the previous number, equal sign, the previous number, add to uh, one half, for example. So 0.5, enter. And uh, even though we have here this 0.5, the decimal number, it doesn't matter to the char function because the char function can only see the integer number or the whole number. I mean, just the 65, the number before the point the decimal place okay now we can click here drag down and now we can continue here to use the chart function and we basically done with the first part of the problem that is the first half a a b b c c and so on so on we already done here but now i need to append the number with the letter and to do it is pretty much simple let me double click here in the cell one two and then in the last part here of the function within the cell i'm gonna use the upper sand and then append the number. Enter. As you guys can see, we can now add append the number. But if you also want to add a symbol to split the letter and the number, you can do it. Let me show you here. Double click here. Just before this upper send, I can add another upper send and then open quotations, hyphen or dash, whatever, close quotations mark, enter. Here we got. Let me do one more time here. One, two, upper send, quotations mark. Uh, hyphen and code, upper sand, and then I can select the number. That's it. Enter. Now I can double click here, one, two, and we're done. So this is how we can create a sequence that is basically repeating the letter one time, A, A, B, B, C, C, and also using a repeti repetitive number, for example, uh, one, two, one, two, one, two, and so on, so on. Now here uh, is the basically, I think, the, the easiest part of the video to create a sequence of months. The only thing that we need to do here is actually to type it in the first month that we that you want to start with. So for example, Jan, that is stand for January, or we can actually type it in the comp complete name. So January, you can type it in the complete name, or you can use a short way to, to write, or you can actually use a shorter way to write, like J, for example. But I'm gonna stick with Jan. And then we have February, March, so on, so on. But I can click here in the January month, click, hold and drag down to make sure now all the rows contain the same, not exactly the same text, but here we have the sequence of the months. Let me read it, read it off here, the colors of the background of the cells, of the, the underneath cells, because here 
we don't need to use. We just need to use the first cell as reference, January. We can actually do the same thing for our days of the week. So you can start with Monday, or we can start with Sunday, with Saturday, you name it. And we can actually type it in just in a short array that is equal to M, for example, to Monday. Or you can use Mon, or you can use Monday in a complete form, for example. I'm going to stick with Mon, and then I'm going to click, hold, and drag down, and that's it. The sequence is done here for me. And if I, I can actually continue the sequence, so I don't need to use just one week. That we, is what I have here, Monday up to Sunday. I can continue, 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 so on, so on, so on. And I'm going to have here a larger sequence using a bunch of different rows. Uh, so that's it. It's how we can create sequences in Excel. And I hope this video can help you out. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow. As everybody has a new video, I see you there.